All right, hi, Year 12s. This is Mr. Lim again, and this is uh, ketones, physical and chemical properties for organic chemistry. Okay, so this is what we're going to be learning about. Oh, haven't also talked about chemical properties of ketones. And there aren't that many of them. Okay, yeah, you get there. All right, so ketones. Ketones does not add hydrogen bonding to the molecule for the same reason that the aldehyde group doesn't add any hydrogen bonding because it has a very electronegative O, but there are no H's bonded to those very electronegative O's. So those hydrogens that are all there, they cannot form hydrogen bonds with the O there, um, just to can't, because they're not electropositive enough. Okay, so that's what I just said. Um, it's present, so it increases the dipole-dipole forces, so this will be very electronegative, and that will be the positive end. Um, and it will increase dipole-dipole forces, but not much else. Okay, so um, ketones have a moderate melting boiling point due to the increased dipole-dipole forces on the ketone group. And remember, whenever we talk about melting boiling point or uh, vapor pressure, we always talk about the sum of van der Waals forces. Okay, so sum of intermolecular forces or sum of van der Waals forces. We always talk about the sum of that. Okay, so um, ketones have higher melting boiling points than similar hydrocarbons, but lower than similar sized alcohols. Why? Because alcohols have hydrogen bonding, right? They have relatively similar melting boiling points to aldehydes because, you know, they've got dipole dipole of the around about the same strength. Okay. See so here we have a, a table with your, you've got the alcohol, you've got aldehydes and ketones. And what you'll notice about aldehydes and ketones is that they're roughly the same for the same molecular mass. Okay, so roughly the same and significantly lower than your alcohols. Okay, so um, that's, that's just... Um, because of the hydrogen bonding for your alcohols and the lack of hydrogen bonding for your ketones. So the sum of intermolecular forces is lower. Who can tell me why there's no ketones in that area? Okay, so remember ketones have to be on uh, a, ketones are formed from the oxidation of secondary alcohols and they're formed from the oxidation of secondary alcohols, which means that those alcohols are in the middle of the chain, which means that you need to have a chain longer than three Otherwise, you're just going to have a primary alcohol and therefore make an aldehyde. Okay, let's have a look here. All right, so ketones, presence of oxygen in molecules that ketones are reasonably soluble in water. So if you remember, we have your ketone here. Okay, it can form hydrogen bonding with water. So a water molecule over here can form hydrogen bonding between it. However, there is no hydrogen bonding there's no hydrogen bonding between any of the other hydrogens. Okay, so that hydrogen there, that's not electropositive enough to form hydrogen bonding there, so there's no hydrogen bonding there for that one. All right, but there's hydrogen bonding for that one there. Okay, um, hydrogen bonds can form between the water and the ketone group. We just showed that. Um, and the larger the ketone is, the greater the effect of the hydrocarbon chain is. We've gone through this before, but just in case you haven't seen it, because this is the first video that you've watched, like and subscribe. Okay, this area here uh, is the hydrocarbon chain. If you have a lot of that area, the gains that you get from having a dipole-dipole bond here with the of a hydrogen bond there with the um, water, those gains are negated by the fact that you've got all these other waters which can't form hydrogen bonds over here. And since there's no hydrogen bonding there, they're not making much energy and therefore they're not going to be very soluble as you get longer. Okay. Um, and that's what that says there. All right. So here is a solubility chart. As you can see, as you get longer, all right, you uh, quickly go from being soluble to insoluble. Um, as soon as they get uh, any big enough. All right, okay. If you look carefully that this one is actually acetophenone, which is technically a um, a ketone on a, a benzene ring on a, um, on a side group. So a side group ketone there, all right? Um, but yeah, they're a little bit larger. That's why it jumps suddenly from soluble to insoluble, all right? Um, 
So, as you get longer, they get less soluble. All right. Then finally, vapor pressure. Ketones are very, generally have a high vapor pressure due to the relatively low sum of intermolecular forces. But of course, if you get longer, you will get a lower vapor pressure. Okay, because the sum of intermolecular forces are going to go up. All right. Um, that's the definition of vapor pressure. And then finally, we have ketones and their only chemical reaction, which is combustion in oxygen. So let's take propanone, for example. If it combusts in oxygen, oh, oh no, what have I done wrong here? There's no hydrogen there. So this is C3H6O plus oxygen will combust two and then that and then you balance it out three three so i got nine uh, yeah that's nine so therefore i can go make four here and then that is a balanced equation all right so ketones can be combusted um just remember that this is gaseous water um as is that all of it else is gaseous all right generally this might be gaseous but it might be liquid i don't know all right um and so that's the only uh, reaction that ketones will undergo. They will not undergo oxidation or reduction. And that's it.